Hi friends, when design some kinds of low voltage devices, sometimes it becomes necessary to use special protection units against supply voltage exceed or decrease. This circuit is versatile and can be used for example to control the charge on the battery to protect power supplies, in particular voltage converters from increased or decreased input voltage. The circuit can be used both as a warning sensor and embedded in a real design. For example, in a voltage converter which will turn off if the supply voltage goes out of range. Let's consider a simple example. You have a boost converter, the input of which cannot be supplied above 16 volts and below 9 volts. If the supplied voltage is above 16 volts, the operation of certain nodes may be disrupted. Also, this leads to a violation of the rated voltage on the transformer windings. With a low voltage of less than 9 volts, which can happen if the battery is discharged, the control voltage on the gates of the power switches will be less than 9 volts. This will lead to incomplete opening of the transistors. As a result, the resistance of their open channel will increase and will increase heating, and a heavy load breakdown of power transistors can happen. Another example, a converter not equipped with such protection can discharge the battery too deeply and cause it to fail due to that. Any serious converter has protection against high and low input voltage. Let's look at circuit and understand the principle of its operation. It's based on cheap LM339, which includes four separate comparators in a single housing. Only two channels are involved in our circuit. Other two can be used, for example, for protection against short circuits and overheating, but we will consider this some other time. But before we start, a few words about the sponsor of this video, about the company GLC, which is one of the leaders in the field of production of printed circuit boards. You can order PCB of any complexity at the lowest prices. The price starts from $2 for 10 pieces. GLC PCB production is back to its normal work. Feel free to order PCB, SMT, and Stencil. All links are in the description. By the way, the LM339 comparator can be found on the boards of some computer power supplies. The chip is next to the PWM controller. The first part of the circuit provides protection against increased power. To the output of the comparators is connected a transistor to control the load. Also, this transistor is an inverter. You will connect load to the transistor's collector circuit. That can be a sound indicator, a LED, a relay coil or a field effect transistor to control more powerful loads. A Zener diode is used as a reference voltage source. The reference voltage is supplied through a voltage divider in the form of a trimming multi-turn resistor to the non-inverting input of the comparator. A part of the voltage that needs to be monitored is applied to the inverting input through the divider. The comparator monitors this voltage. If for some reason it increases, the voltage at the inverse input also increases. The comparator understands that the voltage has changed between its inputs and instantly produces a low signal level or power supply minus at the output. Why the minus? If you look at the internal structure of the comparator, then everything becomes clear. The internal NPN output transistor is connected by the emitter to the minus, and when it is opened, we get the minus at the output. That is why, at the output of the chip, I added an additional PNP transistor. It works when there is a negative signal at the base, and on its collector we get a plus of power supply. That is, the transistor inverts the signal, and this is necessary, for example, to control powerful N-channel MOSFETs. The second circuit is built and works in exactly the same way, only the inputs are connected vice versa. In this case, the comparator will work if the input voltage is lower than the preset threshold. The threshold can be set by rotating the tuning resistor, in fact, it changes the reference voltage. An example of using overvoltage protection is the switch of the battery when fully charged. If you have a non-automatic charger, it can overcharge the battery, which can lead to disastrous consequences. 
If the charger is supplemented with such a circuit, then it is enough to set the response threshold equal to the voltage of a fully charged battery and the device will automatically turn off when the battery is charged. The given circuit can operate in a fairly wide range of input voltages from 5 to 35 volts. It is limited by the supply voltage of the comparator and the damping resistor of the Zener diode. Specifically, this option with these components is designed to work in the voltage range from somewhere from 6 to 20 volts. I plan to use it to protect a powerful voltage converter. The quiescent current of the circuit is only 10 mA. The circuit works very accurately and instantly. The threshold can be set with an accuracy of 100 mV. The video turned out to be short, but I told and shown everything. Let me remind you that all the necessary links, including a link to the project archive with a printed circuit board, can be found in the description under the video. Please don't forget to rate the video and subscribe to our groups. Now I say goodbye. With you, as always, was Kaysian TV.